We are here at the Arinya Rana Zoological Park, popularly known as the Wanderlur Zoo. Wanderlur Zoo is situated approximately 30 kilometers from the Chennai city. It attracts about 20 lakh visitors annually. This zoo is considered one of the well-known wildlife parks in Tamil Nadu and has a history dating back to 1855. The zoo which was first started in 1855 was known as the Madras Zoo which had only a small collection of animals maintained by Dr Balfour within the Madras Museum premises. As per the history some of the residents nearby took objection to zoo animals being close to them and the animals from Madras Museum were shifted to a facility known as People's Park. People's Park functioned behind the Moor Market complex near the Central Railway Station in 1860. As the area was crammed with addition of animals and as it did not meet the biological and behavioral needs of them, a decision was taken to shift the animals to an alternative site. The officials noted that after multiple ground visits and detailed reviews, the authority selected the present area in the midst of the Wanderlur Reserve Forest. This area according to them had provided an environment to the animals similar to the natural wilderness. The officials said that in the initial stage Wanderlur Zoo was set up over a 5 to 10 hectare area at a cost of about 7.30 crore. The zoo was opened to the public in 1985 by former Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M G Ramachandran. The assistant director of the zoo Manikanda Prabhu said that initially a total of 1841 animals belonging to 160 species were present at the zoo. The zoo which is now spread over an area of 602 acres has a total of 2375 animals belonging to 172 species. Prabhu also said that the zoo spends close to rupees 6 crore annually on feeding the animals. He also said that the wide variety of animals is maintained by as many as 131 permanent and 217 casual staff. From Lion Safari, a walk through aviary, forest museum, children's park and souvenir shop to virtual reality shows, the park has a lot to offer to its visitors. To protect these animals from getting tired and stressed due to the hot temperature in summer, the authorities take measures to provide sufficient shade and adequate water. Last year, the zoo authorities came up with a summer management plan and provided the shade nets at required places. Giant herbivorous animals including elephants, rhinoceros, hippopotamuses, giraffes and zebras were provided water showers with sprinklers. Foggers and misters were deployed to keep the animals away from heat. Shankari Batmanabhan the zoo educator said the zoo has many special features including a 24 into 7 live streaming facility which she claimed is the first in the country she said that it is a huge hit among animal enthusiasts as almost 7 crore views have been recorded till now At the zoo after a thorough check by the security staff at the entrance the visitors are restricted from taking plastic items inside the ticket price ranges from rupees 50 to rupees 500 the entry is free for differently abled adults and for children below 5 years visitors can opt to visit the zoo in a battery operated vehicle or can hire a bicycle for fixed hours the zoo authorities said that lions and tigers are a big hit among visitors Last September the zoo secured the top rank in India among the large zoo categories in the management effectiveness evaluation report 2022 conducted by the Union Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change